Italian. Okay, so here's Cujo, huh? <laughs> nah, dude, that's a native from Australia. I mean, that is neat looking. And they're doing so great out here in this tropical location. Yeah. Look at how beautiful this stream is. Australia, and this is exciting because this is the do-it-yourselfer pond kit winner, correct? DIY, put a compo out, the best DIY, send your photos in, tell us your story. And it's a brand and new pond and they won. And they won, and they're local. <laughs> it was all from Australia, but this one, I didn't even look at where it was. It was just like, hey, that's fantastic, that's it. It was local, well, local enough. All right, let's check out the winner of the DIY pond kit giveaway. Oh, this is a garden, I love it. Are you Robert? Hey, Robert, oh, and here it is, right here. Aha, I heard this was a labor of love, the pond guy, Robert. It was. It was. I heard this was a collaboration of friends and family. Where can be the digger hole? Okay. Get out a tree trunk and all that sort of business, and then the rest was me. <laughs> <laughs> You did well enough to win the first ever Australian DIY pond contest. Well, thank you very much. That's awesome. <laughs> and here's the man that picked you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. Yeah. This is an orb lighter. So this has been only for a couple months, right? For December? December? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. Oh. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Raylene? Hi. So this was your idea, huh? My idea. Uh-huh. We just bought this place about a year and a half ago. It's beautiful right here by the coast, huh? Yeah, just by the lake. We've got Lake Kafarabad. Oh, that's, okay, there's a big lake. Can I see the pooch? Yeah. Maybe he'll stop barking it. Okay, so here's Cujo, huh? <laughs> Hey, how you doing, Pooch? <laughs> so this is a new house. This is a new house for us. We yes. bought it a year and a half ago, and it was just a tired old, run-down, 40-year-old lake shack. Yes. And we've slowly been, you know, renovating and building a little studio. And oh, that's awesome. Transforming it. Yes. Including this very run-down garden, which garden. had no yeah. love for 10 or 15 years. It was just overgrown. It was terrible. And I just had the inspiration that a nice water feature would just really... Where did that inspiration come from? I've just been inspired by looking at, you know, videos and yeah, I just love the whole tropical kind of look and I love the sound of the water. Yes. But to start with, I started looking at little fiberglass ponds uh -huh. and I thought just a tiny little one in the ground would be great. And then from there, doing my research, I discovered the Biofalls pond systems, yep. pond kits. The yeah. Aquascape ecosystem with the Skimmer and Biofalls. Absolutely. And... and I, there was no going back. I saw all the videos and just how amazing they can be. And I think the thing that we loved about it is that we could create it the way we mm -hmm. wanted it. So there was a lot of creativity. Involved. Every water feature is a unique work of art, one of a kind, yes, custom creation. And we're quite creative people. We love uh -huh. a good project. <laughs> and so we kind of were like, you know what? We're going to do this. We, uh -huh. we can do this. And you had a so, son that was involved to help out, some, some muscle and some did. friends. We had some friends involved. We did a little working bee one Sunday and we got some muscle uh -huh. involved and they kind of... Um, There's a tree a lot of the digging. And yes. Yeah, now, so. did, could they envision it or was it just basically you saying dig? Yeah. <laughs> I, I couldn't envision it. And right. It's like, what are you doing? Uh huh. <laughs> when it was done, though, what did they say? Like, what do people say when they come over here? Because this oh. is literally, we walked right in and it was right it's here at the entrance. Feature. You have to get to the house, exactly. walk past this. Everyone loves it. Mm -hmm. It's a real feature and we interact with it every day. Like, Amen. Fishing there. Yes. We've got about 15 little goldfish. Oh, in how there, cute. Which are breeding. <laughs> what, is this like a water clove? What is the uh, lily? Nadu, that's a native from Australia. Nadu. What? Nadu? Yeah. Very cool. I mean, that is neat looking. Yeah, it does. It loves it. Very so we've, <laughs> yes, we've yeah, got to keep pruning it. And, and it actually comes out of the water too? It yeah. does, and it'll flower out of the water as well and sit there, and then it go, it'll grow right down really deep, like it's a big strand. Uh huh, yes. uh huh. You can see yeah. the yeah. little forest at night. Time, we should show you. Oh, with video. lights. We with the, the lights, lights there, which yeah. we got from Aquascape, which we are so happy with. They yeah. absolutely just finish it off beautifully. Yeah, it's because, such an enjoyable time. It changes the well, mood. Exactly. And what, at night time, we wouldn't have had any interaction with it. Now we come and sit out by it. Yes. And But with the lighting under there and the way that the plants grow down, yeah. it's just beautiful. Yes. It's you got all the elements. And yeah. what, what I like about it is it's only been in here for four months, but the vegetation, the guys did a nice job landscaping it. The, yeah, thank the, you. That's the decorations on the Christmas 
Christmas tree, the aquatic plants, the terrestrial plants. I mean, just being able to get a log like that to put it in the back. Can I just tell you that <laughs> we discovered it in what? that hole. Stop oh, really? it. Yeah, this garden bed was full of about 50 pavers. It was just a dumping ground. So you and dug it up and reused it. Yeah, and it actually, where those bromeliads are planted uh -huh. was where the guys who we had the working bee, they actually started chopping it. They thought it was a tree root. Oh. And then we realized it was a log. A log and yeah. so I decided with the V that got axed out of the log <laughs> to plant some bromeliads. Yes, smart. Well, and they're doing so great out here in this tropical location. Yeah, and a lot of these plants were just sort of, you know, replanted from the area that we created. So And all of these ground covers are going to continue to grow and yeah. soften up everything. Yeah, that was kind of the idea. Really, we're just winging it. But um... Well, you, 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 you did a pretty good job winging it. Oh, we're going to put a little deck you. over there next. Okay, it's always a work in progress, right? Yeah, yeah that's not a bad idea. Idea. Can't and leave her a little bit. Dragonflies come in. Build it and they will come. Yeah. Absolutely. So, but what's really lovely is that when you come in, you don't actually know that it's there. It's not until you sort of come closer that you hear the water and that you'd kind of discover it. <clears throat> yep. You've said, really you've, nice. said, you've said that really well. Yeah, yeah we do it as professionals as well. You know. Oh, <laughs> yes. Thank you. That's a beautiful <laughs> compliment. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, Rob. Yeah. And does the pooch like it? Yeah, he does. Yeah, it is mine. The inspiration came from watching so many YouTube videos. Yes, so, we love it. That's why we do them. And, yeah, but we sat down, like several times we sat down with pen and paper. We watched it with detail, writing down the steps. Like we really tried to plan it out. Well, you did a good job. The best help that we could get yeah, right. <laughs> well, on YouTube. Paint, so, paint, so, paint, so, paint, yeah, we did, <laughs> we did the layers. Like yes. we did everything kind of that you'd told us to do basically <laughs> well this is why patrick and aquascape australia picked you guys as the first winner of their annual do-it-yourselfer contest yeah awesome. well we were so happy to to win and yeah it's been such a joy putting it together We are at Aquascapes Australia. They're having a little customer appreciation day. Look at how beautiful this stream is. Absolutely incredible. And this is an industrial park. Can you believe it? An industrial park with something this beautiful and nice. This is what every industrial park should have. Sets the tone, that is for sure, for all of the customers that come in. Just, this is a wholesale supplier. Patrick Hanley has been here, I think, about two years. And look at how natural it already looks. And of course, there's more water features, not just this water feature. I love the crystal clear water, the landscaping, the plants. Let's walk over here, and I'm gonna show you some of the other demonstration parts or demonstration water features, I should say, that Patrick has created out here. It's so fun. Love this deck. What an absolutely gorgeous deck, natural deck out here. Hey guys, I got a nice stack slate fountainscape right over here. And then of course, this is the pawn shop. This is where they retail and wholesale products for the public. Right out here, check it out. Look at how everything is. There's Megan. Megan has been with Patrick how many years, Megan? Oh, about seven. Seven years, and about three years ago, she kicked my butt climbing up a mountain. <laughs> So, hey, look, there we are with Rusty Reed, the Turtle Man. What a beautiful facility this is. Walk through. I absolutely love anywhere that has fish and plants just like this. A lot of native fish out here as well, and of course, goldfish. So fun. All these customers coming from near and far. It's been beautiful down here. Last night, I was coming out my room. I actually stayed. He's got an apartment here. I actually came out here at night and just 
watch that and listen to this sound. How beautiful is that sound? And of course, it wouldn't be waterscapes of Australia or aquascapes without a recreation pond. So I pulled in last night right over here and I go, oh, that wall will be a perk for a mural. And within a second later, I saw they're actually making a mural. Hey, there's the mural guys, hey. right there. How long until you think you're done with this mural? Oh, what? Nice. Shut up. <laughs> Two weeks? Yeah, two, three weeks. Two, two three, three weeks. weeks. Yeah. And there's the recreation pond that's going right there. So cool, so powerful what Patrick has created down here. And uh, for me to come and visit and see what my distributors are doing. Patrick is an innovator out here in Australia. He's our sole distributor for the country of Australia and he leads by example. He's actually in the field designing. He's the 2019 Aquascape Artist of the Year. This is basically seeing him replicate what we do out there in the States. And there's Patrick right there. And here is his beautiful baby. Oh, it's okay, you don't have to. No one that's been three months old? Three months old. And of course, this is how he distributes our products. Comes from all over, distribute the products right here. It's fun for me to see this amazing facility that he has created. I love my job.